This solves pretty much all of these problems. These clamps, they actually are two pieces. There's an inner ring and an outer ring. And this inner ring, if you look at it, it has got two ridges on it. So when you're, when you're tightening this down, you actually have these, these two rings inside that are going to apply separate force, basically give you two ceiling points. That is really helpful. And because this ring slides in, inside of itself, you're never going to have any issues like the burn clamps binding, binding into this. And it also prevents the issue of, of the bending that the T-bar clamps have because this inner ring is, it's, is completely separate from the outer ring. Now this outer ring, <clears throat> you can see it's, it's basically a worm drive clamp, but it has this, these, these waves in it. This is a spring. This is why it's called a constant tension clamp. As you're tightening this down, once you kind of get it to the point where it's snug, then this, then you're basically applying tension to the spring. So that spring kind of applies even tension all the way around, and you have no resistance or minimal resistance between the inner and the outer ring. So whenever you're tightening, tightening it down, it's very hard to over tighten because you're working on the spring, and all of that tension is applied evenly all the way around. And because it's a worm drive clamp, you have a lot more range of adjustment. So you have a lot more range, better seal, uh, harder to over torque, and it's not going to wear your hoses. And so ever since we, we found these and we started using them, this is now like any, anything to do with the cooling system or anything under pressure on the boost system, like intercooler hoses, turbo hoses, all that sort of thing. We've been replacing them with these clamps and we've not had any issues since.